नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस आई एम प्रणेश एंड आई आई सी बैंगलोर एलुमनस एंड द फाउंडर ऑफ क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आई सर एप्टी टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन वी ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड थ्री ऑफ दैम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द फोर्थ वन दैट इज फोर्टी नाइन्थ फ्रॉम द एक्चुअल पेपर दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन प्रोजेक्ट टाइल मोशन एंड ऑल्सो द आइडिया ऑफ और द टर्म एंगुलर मोमेंटम ओके ना Uh, there are many problems which you will find in physics. At least one, or even two, or three problems uh, in some some of the papers of the S R F T U test, which are or which require you to know the idea of angular momentum. Okay, if you remember in the first video of this series, that is question number forty six, we had a combination of uh, gravitation and angular momentum. Correct. Yes, and there is one more problem now. Okay, that is forty ninth, which also requires us to know angular momentum. Okay, so let's read the statement. Consider a particle of unit mass being thrown with an initial velocity v naught, making an angle phi with the horizontal ground. What is the magnitude of the angular momentum of the particle about the point of projection at a time t after its projection uh, while it is in flight? So again, they want us to determine the angular momentum. So we'll start with the vector notation this time because they want us to determine the magnitude, and this is a 2D situation. So L bar is equal to R bar cross P bar, or L bar is equal to R bar cross m v bar. Correct? R bar cross m v bar. Now because the particle has a unit mass, unit mass means m is equal to one. Okay, m is equal to one, therefore it is R bar cross v bar. Okay, all right. Now, uh, can we uh, write an expression for the position vector r bar for this projectile? Yes, we can easily write it. Let us assume that the origin itself is the point of projection. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. Suppose this is the trajectory of the projectile. Okay, and let me also show the. Initial velocity uh, v naught bar, and with the angle of projection phi. Okay, angle of projection phi, and uh, suppose our particle is at this location at time t. Okay, this will be okay. So how are we going to show the position vector? The position vector will be this one. Okay, the position vector will be this one. Okay, let me show it in pink color. This is r bar. Okay, and what will be the velocity vector at that point? Let me show it in green color now. The velocity vector will be tangential. Okay, the velocity vector will be tangential. Tangential to what? Tangential to the parabolic trajectory. Okay, so this will be v bar. And we. Because momentum is the same as velocity in magnitude in this case, because of mass being one, we have to basically find r bar cross v bar. Okay. Now the thing is, uh, we know that uh, if the velocity v bar of t is to be resolved into two of its components, the horizontal component is always going to be constant. Correct. So it will be v not cos phi. Okay. V not cos phi. But what will happen to the y component? It will not be constant because it will continuously change with time. So it will be v not sine phi minus g t. Simple expressions for uh, uniformly accelerated motion. Okay, v is equal to u plus t. So this is important. Huh? This is also now going to be our momentum vector. Okay, this is also going to be now our momentum vector. Can we get the position vector now? Of course. It will be v not cos phi t because uh, along x the particle is undergoing uniform velocity motion. Okay, so it will just be v t. I can plus. Now for this, okay. Oh, sorry, should I have in j cap? Sorry, should I have in j. Cap? Okay, so now we have to uh, write down the displacement for uh, the particle along the y direction. Okay, so we can use the formula. Uh, s is equal to u t plus half a t square. Okay, so it will be v not sine phi t minus half g t square j cap. 
correct again the same simple, simple equations of motion for uniformly accelerated motion now here we use v is equal to u plus at for the velocity and here we use s is equal to ut plus half at squared for uh, uh, displacement okay oh, sorry this again we check not not check it check it okay check it now uh, what what is our job now our job is to take the cross product of r bar by v bar l bar is equal to cross product so i j k okay uh none of them has k component okay so it is v not cos phi oh sorry sorry uh, r bar first v not cos phi t v not sin phi t minus half g t squared v not cos phi v not sin phi minus g t there is no need to actually uh, get the i and j components here because they are zero so let us go to k cap directly v not sin phi cos phi t minus v not cos phi g t squared minus v not squared oh sorry i, I think i missed v not squared here right v not into v not yes v not squared minus v not squared sin phi cos phi t and now this time it will be plus half g t squared into this so how much will that be uh, half v not cos phi minus half v not cos phi g t squared g t squared this term will cancel this term v not squared sin phi cos phi t one is positive the other one is negative okay so that will be k cap into this is negative v not cos phi g t squared so let us take v not cos phi g t squared common okay and it will be negative one plus one upon two but as far as the magnitude of the angular momentum is concerned we have to consider only the positive part or the modulus part so negative 1 plus 1 upon 2 is actually a negative 1 upon 2 but because we take its mod it will be v naught cos phi g t squared upon 2 so do we have that option uh, there are two options having half there and i think it is cos phi that we have got v naught cos phi g t squared by 2 v naught cos phi g t squared by 2 so that is option b that is option b okay and interestingly enough the magnitude of the angular momentum is also a parabolic or the square function of the time okay so if you plot angular momentum against time angular momentum against time it will also be a parabolic curve correct so that is our uh, question number 49 next video will be on question number 50